What's up, everybody? You're kicking it with the incredible hack. And my man, Vincent Henderson. Uh, we're in the studio working on his new album. Tell them a little bit about the album, Vince. What's the, what's the, what's the title? Wow. The, the title of the album is Deliverance for Me. Uh, it is very, very real, very vulnerable, very intense. And uh, what we want to do is just really bring across the message uh, that it is okay to be real with God, you know, in your walk. But, you know, you're going to have struggles. You're going to have times where you feel like, you know, you want to give up and you're sinking. And God is going to hear me, you know. All of the music, even though it's upbeat, some some of the songs on here are upbeat or whatnot. But uh, it, just, it's, it just really relates to the Christian that's real. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So, when you say... When you say deliverance from me, because I know that's gonna catch some people. Yeah. And like, what is he talking about? Because yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't think people understand that that we are our greatest enemy, and um, we're our own greatest enemy. And, and a lot of things that we get into is because of choice, because of because of choices that we made, right? Right. How? What? What? Um. How does? How do you relate that? To your music and how does that how does that what does that really mean for you as an artist well what it means for me um, when, when I minister in song uh, I'm, I'm talking from a place of experience right you know it's a whole lot of people that sing or, or do whatever from what they saw people do you know but you can't really relate to it or feel it because they're not thinking from an experience so when I say deliverance for me uh, I'm, I'm singing and I'm talking about a place from experience that I've had with my own personal issues, right. and struggles. You see right. what I'm saying? You so, Christians do struggle. Do they struggle? Yes, of course. Come on now. Yeah. You ain't super saint. Yeah, no. Nah, Somebody nah, told me nah, nah, super nah, nah. saint. No. <laughs> no nah, man. No. Christians struggle. And I think that's one of the biggest lies. You know what I'm saying? That um, that that is portrayed. You right. know, it, within Christian Christendom, you know, that we don't go through nothing. That we don't go through nothing. That we don't deal with anything. And so right. I believe that the cry that God is Why do you think that is though, man? Why is it why do we have why do we have the the the, the aura or why why people take us like now that we got Jesus that everything is hunky dory and right. the sun I, is always shining and Find the sky. Right. I think it, like I said, I think it goes back to uh, having an experience with him. You know, a lot of preachers, a lot of people minister or they, they want to use Jesus as a way to stroke their ego, you know, make them feel good or forget about the hurt and the pain and they try to minister out of a fragmented soul. Wow. And so it, you, you got to you, I mean, just because you sing or you minister, it doesn't mean that what you dealt with goes away. Right. Just it just stays there, or it increases, or or uh, whatever your issue, your personal issue that you're dealing with, it, it doesn't go away because you you have a gift or a talent. You have to deal with what hurts you. You have to deal with the rejection. You got to deal with the pain. Uh, I know for me, there was a point in time in my ministry where I was singing and ministering and I had lust issues. Sexual lust issues. Not you, Vince. Yes, me. Super Saint Vince. Come on. Yes, me. Speaking in tongues, Vince. Travelling. Oh him. I had I had issues, man. I did. I did. And the only way out of it was me having being able to experience the delivering power of Jesus. You see what I'm saying? And knowing that his word has the power to deliver me out. I, nobody laying hands on me could work. Right. Uh, me, you know, calling up a bunch of prayer partners didn't work. You know right. what I'm saying? I had to. When it came down to it, when you it had came to go down to the nitty gritty, I had to experience Jesus for, uh, for myself. And so that's that's the message that I want to really bring across in the album that uh, he can do it. He can. He can. He's he well can able. do it. He's well I'm able. A and I want to ask you about something. You, you got a guest coming in this Tuesday. Mm -hmm. uh, cut with you. Yeah. Tell everybody who that's going to be. My uncle. <laughs> Dexter Casey. That's what's up. That's what's uh, up. Yeah. Hey, I'll record a song called Give Me a Sign. Give Me a Sign. 
<laughs> tell me, give me a little preface to give me a sign. Let's tell the audience a little bit about Give it. Me a Sign is uh, a song that helps express the the uh, the Christian or the person who has received a prophetic word for somebody, uh, a prophet or and, and I'm not coming against the book right. or nothing like that. But right. you know, there's a whole lot of people nowadays that's giving out words. That's exactly right. And trying to you say You can get ten words. You can go on something yeah. and get ten different and words. Trying to say, how do you how do you distinguish Right, 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 right. And it's confusing and people are frustrated because we're living in a time now where people really need a word from God. Right. And I don't need you telling me that God is about to give me a house and I'm gonna lose my mind. <laughs> I don't need a new car right now. I need deliverance in my soul. Hey, you see man. what I'm saying? Yeah. I need I need healing in my soul. I need a word that can meet me, not meet my surroundings. You see what I'm saying? So uh, if that song give me a sign, just really uh, helps ex helps helps the person express what they're really feeling for when they get disappointed uh, when people call them out and say. Uh, the Lord said he's about to do this for you and do this for you and you're, you're sitting there going He ain't told me that. Where no, he ain't told me that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, right, right. So, so how do you how do you bitch, how do you how do you cut through the clutter and cut through the noise and know for sure what God is telling you? I believe you know for sure. The Bible says that my sheep know my voice and the stranger they won't follow. And I think that if you take the time out to really sit for yourself, by yourself with God, mm -hmm. um, and just read his word, mm -hmm. he won't He won't go outside of his word. Mm -hmm. So and as, as you begin by the spirit, to by the spirit, right? try the spirit by the spirit, mm -hmm. and as you talk to God for yourself and gain that personal relationship with the Lord, you know, um, you'll hear, he'll teach you what his voice sounds like. And when somebody tries to bring you some mess, or some foolishness saying uh, something less feel, mm -hmm. you know, you'll be like, nah, you know, because I've developed that relationship with the Lord for myself, and I I went to Him for myself, and I, I didn't depend on nobody to pray me through it, you know. Not to say nothing's wrong with nothing's that. wrong with that. Nothing's we wrong need to pray with that. They're available yes, much. Course. They're available much. But ultimately, yeah. But there's gonna come a time. Mm -hmm. There's gonna come a time hack where you just gonna have to get. Get, try to get uh, with God for yourself. Get a get a get an answer from the Lord for yourself. There's gonna come a time where you know you, I'm not gonna be able to call you because you might be busy. Right, right. So right. what I'm gonna do? Sit there and die because right. you ain't picking up your phone? No. Right, right. Jesus, can you hear me? Can you tell me how to come out of this? You know what I'm saying? And so, yeah. Well, it's going to be a wonderful song, y'all. Give me a sign. Yes, indeed. Vincent Henderson, indeed. the Incredible Hack. Dexter Cason, we get together doing yeah. it. Listen, y'all, we're gonna try to come to y'all at least, if not every week, every other week. Kind of let y'all know how the album's going yeah. and record's going, and yeah. give you updates with it. Uh, we can't re wait to release oh, it to wow. you. We can't wait. We want to see the expression on your face my, my, when you hear it yeah. for the first time. Yeah. We go back and listen to it, and it's, it's, it's still we we can't believe that uh, it's chill. <laughs> <laughs> so y'all. Keep looking out for that. Again, this is the incredible hat. Vincent Henderson, the new album. Deliverance from me. Woo! Love me from myself. Oh. Yes, Lord, please. Y'all <laughs> <laughs> peace out. Talk to y'all later.